Meta has already hyped up the AR space with its top-of-the-line features, holographic projection, and neural interfaces along with complete Metaverse integration. With all these features, everyone has one question on their mind. Is there any way Google's new Android XR could stand a chance against Meta's Orion glasses? Starting off with Meta Orion glasses, they are definitely positioned in a way to be the next evolution in the world of AR. These glasses bring various exciting features, including advanced holographic projection. This means you can use the physical world as your canvas and place 2D or 3D experiences anywhere you want. Not just that, but you can also see life-size holograms of other people in your AR view. And all the digital content you see seamlessly blends with your actual view of the physical world. Other than that, Meta Orion's wide field of view is another factor that puts it on the hype list. In fact, Orion is believed to have the largest field of view in the smallest AR glasses till now. But the one feature that is the most exciting about Meta's AR vision is the metaverse which the company thinks will be the successor to the mobile internet. But don't trust me, hear it from the man, Mark Zuckerberg himself. We believe the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. We'll be able to feel present, like we're right there with people, no matter how far apart we actually are. We'll be able to express ourselves in new, joyful, completely immersive ways. And that's going to unlock a lot of amazing new experiences. Like Zuck said, the metaverse will let you interact with anyone anywhere, like you're in the same space. Meta is creating different spaces for users to interact, and Orion is going to be ready to interact with the metaverse. Meta's vision has always been to connect individuals, starting from the days of Facebook. And for the future, with metaverse, they aim to take it a step further by empowering and connecting individuals no matter where they may be. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive. On the other hand, Google's Android XR may have a different vision. Google's XR, or extended reality, is a new version of its famous operating system. However, there's one thing new about this version. It's designed specifically for XR devices like mixed reality headsets and smart glasses. But these new glasses aren't just Google on its own. Along with Google's new operating system is Samsung's mixed reality viewfinder, better known as Project Muhan, which is also set to hit the market in 2025. Samsung itself introduced it as the first headset designed for Android XR. This is what its first look is, but remember, with Android XR, we'll be getting many different hardware looks, according to Google. These glasses are more focused on day-to-day -day utility. Think of it this way, Android XR will be available for help whenever you need it during your day. It's like having a personal assistant, but not just with work, also with your personal life. Let's say you're on a vacation and need a foreign restaurant's menu translated. This has been demonstrated by Google XR in this clip. Even other than that, think of any task you may need help with around the house. Let's say you ordered floating shelves online and now you have to put them on the wall. If you have never done this before, it might be a bit confusing. Well, look at this clip of Google XR. And of course, hanging shelves is just one example. You can think of any everyday task and you'll have an AI friend guiding you through it. It's like having a friend that not only knows everything, but also always replies right away. Don't we all need one of those? Also, if you work out or are trying to stay fit, these glasses can help you with that aspect too. You can ask it to make meal plans for you. It's pretty much your trainer, your coach, and your nutritionist all in one, which is pretty cool. Other than just helping an individual with everyday tasks, this technology also has some really critical benefits as well, especially the fact that it can provide a lot more accessibility for the visually impaired. Yes, smartphones now have a lot of features that can help the visually impaired use it, but even then it's not perfect. With these glasses, they can just talk to Gemini and get any help easily without ever having to use a phone. So while Meta's vision for the future is to create the perfect metaverse, Google is more focused on helping users in their day-to-day -day tasks. Google's vision is more set on extended reality, with which they're taking their current Android capabilities to a more virtual extended reality. In this way, they're planning to completely replace everyday smartphones with AR experiences. But enough discussing both the glasses. Let's answer the question that I'm sure 
all of you have on your minds. Which one is actually on top in the AR game? Well, there's three aspects to consider when answering this question. Firstly, let's talk about the AR and AI technology that is working behind the scenes. Let's start off with Meta's full holographic overlays. Meta makes the whole AR experience extremely immersive, not only because of its holographic view, but also the wide 70 degree field of view. On the other hand, Google XR has a smaller and more utility focused display. Yes, it's still immersive, but in this case, Meta comes out on top. Other than that, Meta Orion also has an input device. It's electromyography based neural wristband. This wristband can interpret your hand gestures without relying on any camera to see what you're doing. This wristband is pretty cool, considering it can let you select items or scroll through the content easily. Also for navigation, Orion also makes use of eye tracking, thus making the user experience even more responsive. For user interaction, Google has voice and touch-based inputs, but do I even have to say which one wins here? I mean, Meta's input interface is a lot more innovative and easy than Google's. Also, in terms of technology, another thing that Meta has over Google is its real-time holographic pin tracking. This means Meta Orion can track any objects in space accurately, something that Google lacks right now. This shows Meta's edge in terms of AI and spatial computing. The second aspect to consider is a unified ecosystem. Like I mentioned earlier, Meta already has a bigger vision and an entire ecosystem prepared the metaverse. Orion can seamlessly integrate with the metaverse and even other meta platforms like Horizon Worlds, which makes these smart glasses a product that is ready for the future. But we may not be able to say the same about Google, at least not right now. Yes, Google XR already provides native support for all apps available on the Google Play Store. In fact, developers can also choose to adapt their apps to the spatial mode of the XR or even design their own fully immersive experiences from scratch. Think of any popular Google app. Google Photos, Google Maps, YouTube, all of these and a lot more have been optimized for XR environments. And Google has promised some new apps and new content designed specifically for the XR experience by next year as well. But that's not enough because the competition meta has an entire cohesive ecosystem. In fact, in terms of ecosystem integration, both the glasses do have their own AI assistant working with it Meta AI for Orion and Gemini for Google Android XR. But in the case of Meta, its AI is always available whenever you need it. However, in the case of Google's Gemini for now, it can only perform tasks inside the Chrome browser. That means if you want Gemini to take over and perform a task, you have to have the window where it is working open. Right now, it's a major limitation because for Meta, the AI is available whenever you need it. Of course, this is a major limitation for Google, but at least it's setting the trend for a bright future. The third and probably one of the most important aspects to consider is the hardware and user experience. We already know how important it is to have a good battery life and performance when it comes to smart glasses. We got an idea of the fact when in 2013, Google tried to launch smart glasses by the name of Glass, which was discontinued later in 2015. Here's a picture of what it looked like. It had a sleek and modern design at the time, but it still didn't work out. Why? Well, the major reason turned out to be the fact that its battery life was really short, usually even less than an hour. Yes, this was 11 years back, but it sets a necessity for smart glasses. And in this case, it's important to note that Meta has invested in optimized battery performance, which means the usability and battery life is a lot more extended than Google's first gen battery life attempts. Lastly, in terms of user experience, the design and comfort level of the glasses also play a major part. Google's current prototypes of glasses are still somewhat bulky. At least they feel bulky when compared with Orion's cutting edge tech and a modern, minimal glasses-like appearance. Now that we've compared the two, there's one question that remains to be answered. What exactly does the future hold for us in terms of AR and XR? Well, both Meta and Google are creating their own version of the future. Google is providing many useful everyday features like real-time translation of anything in front of you, or even getting contextual guidance on any task from Gemini AI. Of course, these features are extremely valuable and they have the potential to completely reimagine the way we interact with technology and digital content. I mean, on an average day right now, when we want to interact with social media or digital content, what do we do? We go on our phones, we open our favorite app, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or even LinkedIn. 
and then we scroll and scroll. Well, in the future, the content might not be just on a phone screen, but our new normal will be seeing reels or movies in an extended reality space all around us. But to say that it would take over smartphones and laptops right away might be a big shot. I mean, sure, these features might be cool, but let's be real. We're all a bit too addicted to our phones to just give them up for a new technology right now. So to truly take over smartphones, something really cool has to come through. And that is where Meta comes in. While Google focuses on day-to-day -day AI assistance and everyday tasks, Meta is building an entirely new platform for how we interact with the digital and the physical world. Yes, Google's platform may replace some day-to-day -day tasks, but Meta's focus on holographic positions and the metaverse positions Orion as the foundation for the next major computing platform. That is what might truly take us beyond smartphones, and that's not where it ends. Meta's committed to improving their technology more and more with time. This continuous innovation and their open ecosystem ensures a sense of longevity and scalability. Meta Orion glasses aren't just a new tech, they're a portal to the future of human interaction. If we were to compare the two glasses, there's just too many factors that put Meta on top of the game. Superior AR and AI technology, integration with a larger and more scalable ecosystem, future-focused and continuous innovation. The list goes on. So, what do you think? Do you think Google can catch up to Meta, or has Meta already become the undisputed leader in AR? Let me know in the comments. And let's not forget the third player, Apple, within all this. So, if you're excited about a comparison of Meta Orion with Google's XR and also Apple Vision Pro, stick around and subscribe to the channel, because I'll be making a video on that soon. Make sure you don't miss out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.